Hello and welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for tuning in again. And today I have a video dedicated to my current favorite beauty tools that are perfect for exfoliation. And I know that there are physical and chemical exfoliants out there. But today I am going to be focusing on physical exfoliants that have really, really helped the health of my skin on my skincare journey. And yeah, I'd love to share more with you. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment down below so that I can be better connected with you all. And if you'd like, check out my fashion and beauty blog at elizabethmiraki.com and my Instagram account at elizabethmiraki for more fashion and beauty inspo. So why do I love my beauty tools for exfoliation? Well, exfoliation is super, super critical in skin health. And because I have congested skin, I have found that exfoliating is <laughs> A complete heaven sent when it comes to making sure that my skin is happy, cleansed, and overall healthy in general. And by being consistent is definitely the main key in making sure that your skin health is overall just great. So I definitely recommend to be very consistent in your regimen, in your beauty routine, because over time you will see how incredible just physical exfoliation can be within your skin health as a whole. Exfoliating helps your skin because it not only exfoliates the dead skin, off of your face and your body, but it also allows that hydration to be absorbed and to be retained within your skin cells. So definitely exfoliate as often as you can and you will definitely see the benefits over time. So first I'm going to share some of my favorite face exfoliating beauty tools. And I'm going to start off with this and it is the Konjac Root Sponge. I have done a video dedicated to how I use it and my thoughts on this and the brand that I have it from, which is from Andalou Naturals, and I will link it down below if you uh, want to check that out as well. And I love using these konjac, cognac, whatever sponges uh, in the morning because they're super, super gentle and they're great for sensitive skin. And I like doing like an exfoliation in the morning that's very, very gentle. I usually like to use these contract sponges after a good workout in the shower. They're also great over the sink as well. So yeah, I would really suggest if you want something very, very gentle on your skin, definitely go for a contract sponge because it will leave your skin feeling baby soft smooth. Also, I would highly suggest you try a contract sponge exfoliation right before you put on your makeup because it will make your skin so soft and supple that the application of makeup and the products will glide on your face so effortlessly. And yeah, it's truly life-changing if you ask me. <laughs> Next, I have this. I have a physical nylon facial brush. This is by the brand. Bass. I got this at my health food store uh, when I was going on my trip earlier um, this year and I have found this to be great as my nighttime exfoliant and this is really really awesome for a more abrasive in a gentle way um, kind of exfoliation at the end of the day when you need to take off your makeup just to have all of that dead skin and debris and dirt off of your face this is definitely the way to go. And I think it's also very cost effective because it's only about $5 and it's just a manual brush and you just, you know, um, brush your face with it and, you know, gent gently exfoliate with it. So yeah, I would definitely recommend this as a nighttime kind of exfoliant beauty tool to use on a daily basis. All right, so now on to body. So the first tool that I have is this, and I'm pretty sure all of you know what this is. <laughs> and it is just a little handheld pumice for your foot. And it has kind of like, well, the one that I have, has a kind of more rough side on one side and then a little bit softer side on the other. I like to use the more rough side first and then rub it all over my feet. And then I go in 
and apply a bit of pressure with this smooth side and get all of those dead skin cells you know off of my feet and make them super super soft and really nice if you're anything like me I need to have soft supple feet no matter if my toes and my feet are out I have to have them super soft and beautiful like that is such a big thing for me <laughs> I, just, I have to have beautiful feet for some reason I don't know it just it, yeah <laughs> and I like to do this in the shower because my feet will be really nice and supple with water and some soap and that is how I like to use it and last but not least I have the infamous body brush This is just a body brush that I bought from Amazon a while ago. It is actually boar bristle, which is not very good, I don't think. But I wonder if there are some more, you know, plant-based ones. If you know of any plant-based uh, dry brushes, please let me know down below so that I can know for the future. Uh, but yeah, I love dry brushing my, my whole body just before I go into the shower. And again, consistency, consistency, consistency is super key. And I love doing this because it keeps my skin super soft and silky, but also helping my lymphatic system, you know, and the drainage of my lymph nodes and all that good stuff. So oh, really great for your skin and your internal body itself as well. How it's recommended, brush in the direction of your heart. And then for me, after I do it like once or twice, brushing in the direction of my heart, I like to just kind of like circulate it so that I can get more dead skin off. So if the first uh, little brush is for my lymphatic system and the second brush is for exfoliating any dead skin cells. There you have it, some of my current favorite skincare uh, exfoliating beauty tools that I absolutely love and that that was helpful to you and your skincare routine as well. Let me know of your thoughts and comments in the comment section below. And so I hope that you are having a beautiful and wonderful day or night wherever you are on this planet. And I will see you very soon in my next video. Bye!